All right, so today we're going back in time a little bit, and I'm gonna be talking about something that I haven't actually talked about yet, Windows 7. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to recover your files from a computer that's running Windows 7. It's an old one, but it's a good one, so let's get into it. So there's no doubt about it, data loss absolutely sucks. Whether it was a user error or something completely out of your control, like a virus or a random corruption, Losing your files absolutely sucks, a lot, and I can personally attest to that. And I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you're running Windows 7, and you want your stuff back, like, as soon as possible. Well, with Windows 7, things get a little bit tricky, because the videos that I normally make surrounding Windows are usually around Windows 10. And there's quite a few features that are built into Windows 10 that I cover a lot that are proprietary to that software and that operating system. And so it's hard for me to kind of carry over those methods and just say use those videos if you're running Windows 7 because a lot of them don't apply. However, there is one method that does carry over that holds tried and true for Windows 7 just as much as it does Windows 10, and that is file recovery software. And of course, there's a lot of software out there. Trust me, I've tried a lot of them. And the one that I always stick with is Disk Drill. It's fast, reliable, and very easy to use and it works great for Windows 7. Okay, so real quick before we get started, there is something that I need to explain that's gonna kind of unfold throughout the whole video, and that's the process and the basic premise of file recovery is that when you delete a file, it's not actually gone. Rather, it's just hidden by the operating system until it's overwritten later on by another file, and that's the key word there, overwriting, and that's something that we're trying to avoid. So if you have a bunch of deleted files on your PC, for example, you're gonna to wanna to stop using your PC to avoid overwriting them so that they're intact, ready to be recovered once we get there. So overwriting is what we're trying to avoid. And so with that in mind, let's move into the tutorial. So to get started, go ahead and download Disk Drill, which will be provided via the link in the description of this video. Now again, if the files you're trying to recover are on your PC itself, then you're gonna to wanna to download and install Disk Drill to a separate drive like an SD card, for example. This is something that's important, again, to avoid overwriting your files. Now, once you've installed Disk Drill, go ahead and open it up. You can follow the first time tutorials once you open Disk Drill for the first time, and then once you do, you'll be brought to the main Disk Drill interface, which is something that we like to call the disk list. And this is where all the drives that are connected to your computer are shown, like your main hard drive or SSD, any external USB drives, etc. So at this point, if it's not already, go ahead and connect the drive that you want to scan to your computer. And once it shows up in the disk list, select it, select your scanning method, and click search for lost data. Now this will go ahead and start the scanning process, which depending on the size of the drive, may take a little while. So I will come back to you guys once it's finished and we'll pick up from there. All right, so it's all finished. And at this point, we can review the files that have been found by Disk Drill. So it works a lot like a Windows Explorer type of file structure. You can just sort through the different folders that by name are organized by the different types of scans that were used to find the files within them. You can also search for files by category on the left-hand side or search for the file up in the top right if you happen to know it by name. Now, one more thing that I need to bring up here is that once you find the files that you want, you need to make sure that they're previewable. And again, this goes back to the overwriting thing that I talked about earlier. So if the files are overwritten, they will not be previewable because they're not completely intact inside of Disk Drill. But if they are previewable in their entirety, then you know that they are 100% recoverable. And you can check this just by clicking the preview icon right here, and it will show you a full scale live preview inside Disk Drill if it is intact. That's really important. If it is, it's good to go. So once you have the file, select it with the check mark like so, click recover, Choose your save location according to the guidelines that I mentioned earlier, and click OK. And this will go ahead and export the files you've chosen to a safer location where you can view them, use them, and they're all set to go. And that's it. That is how you recover files from a Windows 7 computer in 2020. If you still happen to be using Windows 7, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below letting us know how long you've used Windows 7. I honestly love Windows 7. It's my favorite operating system ever. And ever since upgrading, I've honestly missed a lot of the little nuances that have come along with it. And I'm glad to be making this video to get it out for you guys just in case you do use Windows 7 and you need to get your stuff back. I hope this was of help to you, and if it was, also drop us a like on this video, and if you want me to cover anything else down in the future, always let me know down below in the comments, but that's going to be it for this video. My name is Andy, and until next time, thank you for watching.